The Somali Parliament on Wednesday approved the national budget for the federal government of Somalia in the coming year. The Speaker of the Parliament of the Federal Republic of Somalia, Mr. Sheikh Adan Mahmoud Nur Madobe, chaired the second meeting of his fourth joint meeting of the 11th Parliament. The two houses of Parliament, the House of the People and the Senate, approved the budget with a majority in favor of the financial bill. The meeting was chaired by the leaders of the two houses and their deputies witnessed the third reading and approval of the 2023 budget. Total budget for this year reached 973 million US dollars. This year's budget has allocated more resources to areas of public interest, such as government health centers, education, and security agencies in the country. One, 72 members of the two houses of the Parliament of Somalia approved the budget in a vote of hand. One rejected the proposed bill and one remained silent. <laughs> The Minister of Finance of the Federal Government of Somalia, Elmi Mahamud Nur, thanked the MPs of the two houses of the Parliament of the Federal Republic of Somalia for the approval of the 2023 budget. Somalia's debt relief efforts have been positive. Under that, Somalia has been allocated an envelope based on population and needs by the World Bank. Because Somalia is a fragile post-conflict country, it gets additional financing. So it is about 800 billion US dollars for the three years. So far, the World Bank has approved close to 350 million US dollars. Since the HIPC decision point in March 2020, they have built up a portfolio of close to 2 billion US dollars of committed funds. Somalia projects economic growth in the coming year and the Somalia Integrated Household Budget Survey, which will be the basis for measuring development and progress in reducing poverty and providing new sustainable development goals indicators, including general equality and access to finance and land ownership is operational. The Somalia National Bureau of Statistics needs continuous support to start estimating GDP from the production approach and a harmonized consumer price index.